The partition of India in August 1947 was a traumatic and bloody event. A British advocate, Cyril Ratcliffe, was the chairman of the boundary committees set up to divide undivided India into India and Pakistan. It was Cyril Ratcliffe's responsibility to divide 88 million people between two countries by August 1947. Radcliffe submitted his map on 9th August 1947 which divided Punjab and Bengal in half between India and Pakistan His task was to ensure that there would be as many Hindus and Sikhs in India as Muslims in Pakistan This was his first trip to India and it was a hasty and hurried program to split a country into two parts 14 million people 7 million from India and 7 million from Pakistan started fleeing from India to Pakistan and Pakistan to India fearing that they were on the wrong side the Indian freedom movement had been peaceful and non-violent but the partition of India resulted in mayhem and violence on an unprecedented scale People started fleeing on any mode of transport that was available. Many were murdered, many died of diseases, starvation and exhaustion. Nearly 1 million people died in the partition of India in August 1947, the greatest movement of people in human history. The line that divided India and Pakistan, the line of demarcation, is known as the Ratcliffe line, which was prepared in a hurry. without taking into account the ground reality of such a massive migration of people across artificial borders and boundaries Sadat Hasan Manto the Indian and Pakistani Urdu writer was the chronicler of the partition he had opposed the artificial division of India along communal lines he poured out his angst and his pain in his hard hitting stories about the partition Manto was a script writer in the Hindi film industry in Bombay. He was a respected writer, but it was his stories on the partition that established his reputation as one of the greatest writers of all time. Manto was an alcoholic and he died at the age of 43. But his stories live on and remind us of the madness of communal hatred and the evil that human beings can perpetrate on each other. Manto born in Ludhiana in Punjab was ethnically a Kashmiri. He was born in 1912 and uh, after completing his education from Aligarh Muslim University he arrived in Bombay in the 1930s. He fell in love with the vibrant and cosmopolitan city of Bombay. Manto wrote scripts, plays and articles for film magazines. He wrote of his famous friends Ashok Kumar, Nargis and Sitara the film actors of the 1930s and 40s Manto lived in Kamatipura the red light district in Bombay he wrote about the prostitutes the everyday life of ordinary people and about sex and desire Manto was charged for obscenity in his stories by the British government but he continued chronicling the lives of the ordinary people and he was unapologetic about what he wrote It was very difficult to categorize Manto. It is very difficult to categorize Manto. He defies classification and his short stories, screenplays, essays, letters, more than 150 radio plays and articles depict human beings as they are with their flaws and strengths. Manto was not interested in hypocrisy and he loved the city of Bombay. He used to say, "Main chalta phirta Bombay hu." The characters of his screenplays, books and short stories were what is usually denigratingly referred to as low life. The prostitutes, the pimps, the film actors, the aspiring film actors, slum dwellers, ordinary workers and writers. Manto opposed the partition of India and one of his most powerful stories, Toba Takes Sing, is about the impact of partition on the inmates of a lunatic asylum. Two or three years after the partition of India, 
it was decided by the government that certain Hindu, Muslim and Sikh lunatics would be exchanged between India and Pakistan. Bishan Singh was a Sikh man and he was in a lunatic asylum in Lahore. He belonged to the town of Toba Tek Singh which had become a part of Pakistan after the partition. Bishan Singh is taken by the police to India and when he is informed that Toba Tek Singh is in Pakistan, he lies down in the no man's land between the barbed wire fences that mark the respective borders of India and Pakistan. Mantos Toba Tek Singh is a sharp and biting satire on the stupidity of artificial borders that heartlessly divide people without taking into account their loss, pain and emotions. The relevance of Mantos' perception and his stories about life caught in the vicious mayhem of the partition remind us of the dangers of communalism. Manto loved Bombay, but he was forced to leave India in 1948 and go to Lahore where his family had already preceded him. Manto has largely been forgotten by India and Indians and when he passed away in 1955, most newspapers and magazines ignored the death. Manto was unapologetic about his portrayal of female sexual desire. One of his most famous and controversial stories, Thanda Gosht or Cold Meat, is about a Sikh man who returns after raping a corpse. Ishwar Singh fails to satisfy his mistress Kalwant while having sex with her and she suspects him of cheating her. In a fit of rage, she stabs him with his own dagger and while dying, he confesses that he had killed an entire family and had raped the corpse of a girl. Manto was a fearless writer, a writer who was unafraid to face the evil within human beings. He was unapologetic about what he wrote and he defies all categorization. Thank you.